So a few months ago, Hyperlite Mountain Gear reached out to me after seeing me use their uh, backpack and I had never spoken to them before. I just really enjoyed using their backpack and they wanted to see if there would be anything else that they could send me uh, to use in videos. I was very excited about that because I love their backpack so much. Why not try out one of their tents? And it's a fantastic tent. It's made out of Dyneema. The craftsmanship is absolutely amazing. It's just like their backpacks. It's built like a tank, super lightweight, just over a pound tent. Um, the guy out points, uh, the zippers, I mean, just everything about this tent, the stitching, just top notch, everything about it. And so the price is obviously expensive for those reasons. And so I get this tent in the mail. I set it up outside just to kind of take a peek at it. It's pretty awesome. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, this would make a great four season tent. And I even made a video about switching out my gear uh, for this season, the winter season that we're in, um, to try out this tent. Okay, so here's the shelter change. This is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Ultimate 2. I didn't commit to using this tent in the video. I just said, hey, I'm gonna try it out. Well, I only got to try it out one time. The first trip that I was gonna use this tent on was a trip to Pictured Rocks with my wife and some friends. And I was very excited to use it because I could finally fit two uh, full size, like 25 inch wide pads inside of a tent comfortably. The ones that don't taper, so 25 inches at the foot end. But then because COVID had hit and everybody was wanting a backpack in the fall, campsites were just being taken up like crazy and I realized if we were gonna go, we were gonna have to stealth camp. And I started thinking about it more and more, realizing that stealth camping in the Midwest requires you to do it in dense, uh, woods in most situations and the chances of me finding a spot for this particular tent was gonna be difficult because this tent is huge I'm gonna put the dimensions up on the screen because I can't ever remember them but it's a big big tent and being able to find a location for this tent while you are out in the Midwest anyway in most situations and in my situation especially because where I hike it's typically woods and dense forest is gonna be difficult. So at the last minute, um, because of that, because we were gonna have to stealth camp at least one of the nights, I decided to bring my Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL two-person tent, which is a much smaller footprint, but it still has plenty of room inside of it for my wife and I, and then our gear can sit in the vestibules, uh, because I knew that stealth camping with that would be a little bit easier to find, uh, or a lot a bit easier to find uh, a stealth camp location if I had to clear out some spot um, in the middle of the woods. Once we got back from the Pictured Rocks area, um, I wasn't gonna give up. I was definitely gonna try to use this tent um, for the winter, and uh, so I decided to bring it to Smoky Mountains. I get to camp and pull this thing out, and there were three of us tenting and one person hammocking at this campsite. It's a very large campsite, but it tapers down. And it's kind of rocky and, you know, trees and, you know, fallen trees and that sort of thing. So there were definitely flat areas, but none of them were large enough for this tent, except for maybe one. And I had to squeeze myself and one other person on that spot. And man, this tent just barely fit. It wasn't even pitched right at all. Uh, I didn't get any video of it because the weather was horrible. It was raining the entire time, so I didn't want to mess up my camera. But I do have one shot of me inside of it. Uh, you can't even tell that I'm in this particular tent, but I am. And um, so that was the only time I was able to use it. Okay, so everything about this tent is amazing. It just doesn't work for me because where I backpack um, and how often I backpack, I can very rarely come up with a campsite that is large enough for this particular tent. And so it just doesn't work for me. Okay, then who's this tent for? I think that this tent is for someone who camps in um, open areas, maybe um, on high mountain peaks or cliffs or open prairies or desert or somewhere where there's a lot of room to pitch a tent or maybe you're hunting and you're going off deep into uh, your hunting land and you need a good four season tent maybe in the winter time and you've got enough room to set this up for a base camp for all of your gear and you want something lightweight to carry out there, this tent is perfect for that. I'm actually really upset about it because I wanted so badly for this tent to work because I think it is such a cool design. It's very easy to set up, 
lightweight, it checks all of the boxes except it's too much of a footprint for where I go. So if you're looking for an extremely well-built tent, checks all those boxes for you, and you hike and camp often in places where you can have a tent this large, uh, this tent might be perfect for you. Anyway, wanted to make this video just to explain to you guys and walk through why I'm gonna be returning this tent. And if you bought this tent because I talked about it uh, for any reason and you love it, that is awesome. Also, if you guys are looking for uh, just some sweet swag, uh, we got the sweatshirt, we got the mug, other merch below so you guys can help support the channel, help me in my endeavors to help you with gear and backpacking tips. And I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.